Welcome to this live trading chamber. My name is Dennis and happy Monday to everyone who is here. Uh, I'm going to be going over the markets real quick today and I'm going to explain to you everything that's happening. I want to refer to my conversations last night with Kato and, and the rest of the group when I told you that the euro will become stronger eventually. And I don't see it breaking as well. So be, be, be very careful when you're looking at and the markets because the last three times this is a very strong triple bottom we have right now and I you can just mark my words that euro USD will finish this month much higher higher than the dollar so let's introduce the team there's Adam on the left I'm in the middle and Stefan is on the right I am the founder and head trader of Pips Matter Adam is a trader and coach and Stefan is a Pips Matter ambassador so partner ambassador uh, if anybody's interested in becoming a partner, he they speak to Stefan. He is also a coach. And I think Adam and Stefan have uh, quite a few things here prepared for everyone. So let me just bring Adam into this. Hey, Adam. Adam, can you can you hear me? One sec. My voice, my, my sound is not working again due to this microphone. So come, come into my office, actually. Can you? When you're speaking. We can because it's cutting us off. Okay, no problem. I took you guys out. So, when you, you guys have something to say? No, not really. Just welcome everyone to this live trading room. That's all. You <laughs> just gotta listen to Dennis as always. Okay, okay. So, let's head into the markets real quick and just explain what's been going on in the markets uh, today and over the weekend and what's expected. So, Mamma Italia said no to the Prime Minister, Redzi, and he is supposedly gonna be out. Now, that doesn't change much, okay? I, I've explained this. Uh, the media buffed it up too much. Not much changes. I'm serious. Not much changes. He still has majority of power. It's going to be very hard for any other party to just pop in and just start cha making changes. This is not a presidential election, and the power of everything just doesn't change so easily. I can release, actually, I will release a small statement of what's actually going to happen with everything. But be very careful if you're thinking that the euro bears will come out. They're not coming out yet. They're not coming out yet, and in fact, they're going to sleep because winter has just come, and the bulls are ready to rock and roll, I think. So, now, we have quite a few things this week, but let's go over today. Today we have PMIs across the board, we have retail sales, and we have Eurogroup meetings. The Eurogroup meetings are urgent, and they're gonna be discussing Greece a little bit more. If anybody's been watching financial news a little bit, you would have noticed that Portugal is actually doing pretty, pretty well, and they've just released one of their biggest budgets ever. It has been approved. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see um, what happens with the Eurogroup meetings in Greece, uh, to, to be more exact. Now, in the US, we have the ISM non manufacturing, uh, PMIs, and we also have uh, Fed members, uh, two Fed members that are going to be speaking. In the UK, the most important release today will be the PMI service index for November. Now, it's very important to know that the UK has been receiving very, very, very strong data in the last couple of uh, months. Now, without further ado, let's go over the trading rules. You guys know them. You guys know them. You see them. Watch them for a second until I set everything up. Um, understand them. If you have any questions in regards to the rules, just let me know. Now, as you guys can see, the trading rules are, are pretty pretty simple. They're not they're not nothing crazy. For example, never add on to a losing position is a pretty normal rule. Uh, many people make this mistake. They make they find an entry in the markets and they say, okay, Euro USD is going to go down, and they take it down because their eyes tell them something's happening. Price heads up, and they're like, oh no, this is an even better entry. So let me enter this one. And before you know it, they're losing on two trades and their confidence has gone down the sinkhole and it's gone. 
my voice is chopping. Uh, can everybody else confirm that my voice, can, can you hear me well now as I'm speaking comfort? Okay, fantastic. So expect today it's going to be pretty. It's going to be a pretty interesting day. Look what happened with Italy. The news, everything, the media, Twitter—it's going crazy. You know, Italy, Italy, Italy is hashtagging. Um, but if I show you the monthly chart, and if you just forget about the fundamentals, you're going to see a massive triple bottom. I'm going to show it to you pretty soon. So uh, you see the rules. Let's go over the system we're going to be using. It's a very simple system, very easy to understand and use. Of course, it is a system combined of a couple of small things. For example, moving averages, we're going to be using the concept of 3, 6, and 9 uh, um, power of numbers. We're going to be using mathematical points of interest from 0 to 200, adding 12.5 plus 12.5, and you keep doing that. Of course, we're going to be looking for candlestick patterns, cause and effect, which will be news analysis, trading patterns, while well, you all know them. So these are very simple things that we're going to be going over, and right now, I'm just going to be preparing my account. Bada bing, bada bing. Just a second. Let's log again and then we'll start. Does anybody have any questions for me? Okay, guys, so let's go over to the chart. Hey, how is everyone today? Kato, Locke, Comfort, Guy, how is everyone? How are you all? Very good to hear. That's very good to hear. So today I'm going to teach you how to look at the charts a little bit more. In today's course, I'm going to go. I'm going to go into it. Uh, I'm going to go into it much, much more and show you how to use chart patterns. Today's lesson in the course is, of course, like I said, attitude and then try to try uh, I'm very good Belinda thank you for asking uh, Kai thank you for asking too that's really good Kai if you made good profits today that's really good just like I said relax watch out now markets will start stabilizing Kato started the day with 70 plus pips on euro USD very good that's man guys I love seeing this this is what I do this is why I do what I do <laughs> very simple this is exactly why I do what I do so I can see these things this is the reward. I mean, I make money anyway, but this is the reward. This is helping you guys, helping you guys be in, 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 you know, teaching you how to open the door. That's that's as simple as that. And then you guys open the door by yourselves. So everything you are doing is totally. How do I explain this? Everything you are doing right now, all the success you've done is your success. You don't owe it to me. You don't owe it to Adam. You don't owe it to anyone. It's your success, and that's how it should be. And that's how you should look at it. Too many people take credit for too many people's work. That's that's wrong work. That's the wrong type of coaching. If somebody's taking credit for what you're doing, well, then just tell them to F off because you are the one that's pressing the trigger, you are the one that's pulling the trigger, and you are the one that's spending all the time. Okay, so if you look at uh, if you look at uh, if you look at you as the cab, you see this, right? And it looks like it's going up, right? And I've been saying it's going to go up, it's going to go up for some time, but I also told you it's going to go down, right? I've been saying this for some time. And if we go onto the monthly chart, I just want to show you something beautiful. And then we'll go on a few monthly charts, and I'm going to show you some big reversals in the market. And if you guys can predict these reversals, God, you're going to make so much money. You just have no idea how much money you're going to make. So cut of those 70 pips will turn into 700 pips. I want to show you something. This is a clear reversal indication. And while I was at my old firm where I was working, I'd given this trade out. Okay, this trade. I don't remember if Kato was there, but I remember plenty of people hearing me tell tell them you uh, USD CAD is going down, down, down. And look at that for three months. It's dropped fourteen hundred pips in fourteen months. If you were compounding, you would probably get stopped out only around here. Okay, well in this month, if we go into it, it's it's you know it's it's not shaped, but you would probably get stopped out. So I want to show you something very important that's happening on USD CAD, and I've told you by the ninth of this month, something big will happen, right? By the ninth of this month. We've got a dojo here. We have a beautiful re-entry pattern. If you look at the monthly chart, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop at the monthly chart. I'm gonna show you more charts so you guys can understand that really, in reality, the market's gonna go boom. So let's go on the Euro USD and let's go on charts that matter. 
Okay? Look at that. You guys see this, right? Let's go and chart with matter. The monthly chart. One, two, and we are at three. Every single time mine closed down here, the next month was sharp up. Every time the month closed here, the next month was sharp up. And we're going to do the same here. We're going to do exactly the same here. Euro group meetings will be so good today that Euro USD is going to go up. So I'm entering a longer position. Obviously, the balance is quite strong on this account. So this is where my stop will be all the way down here. And we're taking barely a 2% risk on this. Barely a 2% risk. We plan on staying in the position for long. Hence the reason the stop loss is 177 pips. Not only this, but I'm going to go into more. And I'm going to show you more reasons why all of this is going to go boom. Okay? We have this, this, and this here. Okay? We have beautiful indications that AUD USD is going to go higher. We are at the bottom of a monthly channel. Please look at this. We are at the bottom of it. At the bottom. And we want to go up. December will be bad for the dollar. Mark my words. December will be real bad for the dollar. I know I'm showing you something that the whole market is telling you, no, it's not going to happen. Euro USD is going to parity. Well, I'm sorry to burst anyone's bubble, but it's not. Even USD JPY is going to go down. Okay? Even USD JPY is going to go down. Hey, you know why? Because please look at this. Okay? And now look at this. Don't they look the same, just reversed, right? Very similar. They look very similar, just reversed. And I want to tell you why. Gold, especially this year, this year, our year right now, okay? Just look at this, this part here, up and down. So down and up. Very simple stuff. So this year, sorry, it's here. It's indicating to us that the JPY has been following gold very, very well. And if we use and if we use Fibonacci patterns into this, you will clearly see that we are at the 61%. If you go from here to here to here, we will be at the 61% uh, level, which just indicates to us aggressive movement downward, uh, upwards. So, bam. Sorry, one second. No, wrong. Okay, so this is obviously the MPIs and what we're doing here is trying to figure out when price will bounce back. Uh, gold will go higher, USD JPY will go lower, AUD USD will go higher, Euro USD will go, of course, um, higher. And then let me just go to find the other very important one and that's NZD JPY, just a second. Here's the baby. Then I want to show you this real quick. Okay, so if you look at this pair, it's just giving you an indication that it's probably going to drop just a little bit more before heading higher, right? You buy, bam, so A, B, C, bam, D. Very simple stuff. So we have many indications in the markets right now that the dollar, my good friends, will start losing steam. And you know when it's going to happen? When you least expect it. Just like today. Everyone's expecting the euro to tumble. Tumble, 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 tumble. And this is the reason so many people have actually uh, bought. Where is it? Look at that. Look at this single day gain. Look at this beautiful chart up. Okay, so very, very simple stuff. Good indications that the euro will gain more strength. I don't know how better to put this. There is no better way for me to put this for you than, than this. So do we, do we have any questions? Any ideas? Remember when I told you guys about market makers and how they work? They bring the price down for you at a beautiful level, and when you think it's going to keep going down, they just destroy you and it goes up. That's how this works. I'm not telling you to, I'm not saying that Euro USD should go back up today, but it's going to go up this month. Kato is asking if I'm still in the USD cut from yesterday. No, I, I actually went out of it. Um, 
I got stopped out because I put a very close, very close, what's it called? Very close, um, very aggressive compounding. It was compounding very aggressively. So I opened my four trades and uh, they got closed at, at, at almost the peak, which was one, three, three, five, seven closed out. So yeah, that was good. Are you guys still in? I do see it going up a little bit. Yes, I do. Uh, Kat is asking if I see it. Um, Kat is asking if I don't see it, if I see it going up short term. Yes, I see it possibly later on in the day going higher. Um, but watch out for a break below. It's been it's been trending for some time, and if we go on the monthly chart, which is one sec, let's find it. There it is. So if we go on the monthly chart, there are good indications that it, it's just want to go down. It's want to go. It's, it's definitely wants to go down. Robert is asking what time frames do we trade and why? Okay, so we trade, um, it's not, it, Robert, it's not in regards, the, the time frame is not as important because um, they, they all show you pretty much very different things. The, one of the, the rules that we use is very simple. We have to have confirmations on three different time frames. Uh, that means monthly, uh, weekly, and daily. Now, obviously that's a much stronger trade if we have Stronger confirmations on different on different um, uh, time frames, but we look at time patterns. We use time cycles. We use very 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 uh, thorough uh, fundamental analysis. Something unlike most of the market uses. We don't just go to investing.com or Forex Factory and just check the latest news. We research in depth. We research bonds. We research stocks. We research everything. Immigration policies. We go crazy into into factors and we find specific trades. It's not only about chart patterns or time frames. The chart tells us what's happening most of the time. Um, but there is also the, the simple law of cause and effect that's right behind everything. So I can't tell you why we trade specific time frames, but we analyze markets at obviously higher time frames, monthly, weekly and daily. We execute in shorter time frames trying to find the best possible entries. So, for example, I see USD CAD heading much lower. I see oil possibly becoming stronger due to this as well. But, like I said, USD CAD will head lower and the dollar will be very weak throughout by the end of this month. So, a new cycle is coming to the dollar. And I've explained this in the course and I've explained this last week. And, for example, one thing that stood out yesterday in the course, if anyone was listening, I've explained that this is the first time since 1928 that... The Republicans have the Senate, the White House, and the House of Representatives. The first time. So if you would look, if you would look at, if that would be a chart, what you would see is you would see this. You would see basically, you would see a double top. Let's say this. You would see 1928 and you would see 2017 when the White House and everything will change. Now, the last time that happened, you will know what happened to the U.S. economy. And using these kind of fundamentals and thorough research into bonds, for example, more specifically 10-year bonds, this indicates very strong scenarios of aggressive market moves in the negative. A possible recession and things like this. I won't go into this much, but I'm going to explain that we are at a very special time in history right now and that the U.S. economy has not gone more than 10 years without a recession ever. And we are at 7 right now. So it's going to be pretty interesting. It's going to be pretty interesting to see. But like I said, Robert, I can't tell you exactly why, because there is too many whys. And it's not only about time frames and charts. It's about the big picture. To us here, the chart is not the territory. We look at many other things as well. A very simple terminology in NLP is uh, the map is not the territory. Well, to us, to us, the chart is not the territory. There is many, many confirmation that the market can give you, but I can tell you that there's going to be a break in, in USD CAD. I can tell you that Euro USD will head low higher. And this is not by, this is not just because of this triple bottom. There is so much more into this effect over here that provide uh, excellent reasons for USD, Euro USD to head higher in the short and medium term. In the long term, Euro is going to destroy, kaput, buy just like the Italians, but not now. Strength is coming to the Eurozone, and Mario Draghi and the ECP still have a couple of tricks up their sleeves. So, 
Um, does anybody have any specific pair that they would like me to analyze this morning before we move into the U.S. session, which is obviously much more action-packed and provides much more information than this one? Gold, Belinda, I'd love to analyze gold. Um, so, just a moment. Just a second, just a second. Let me just find my analysis on gold real quick. Here it is. Euro JPY, GBP JPY. Okay. So, Robert, I suppose you're a scalper, because this is the first time I see you here. If you're looking at five minutes, you would prefer something short term, right? Am I right? Since you're asking for a five minute scalp. Very good. Okay. It's a very good challenge. We have a very nice trading room called the Thunder Trading Room, and this is where we use nine minute charts to open trades. Yeah, me too, Kai. I really can't wait for the standard trading room tonight because, uh, you know, it's going to be like 20 minutes, half an hour, but we're going to make 5-10% with these. Uh, it's going to be pretty, pretty easy. So, um, Belinda, my dear, here we go. So, with gold, if we connect this bottom and this bottom, we will obviously get somewhere around the 12% area. That indicates that there is good chances of gold dropping just a little bit, not... Not, not much on the downside. We do see we do see gold heading much higher. Let me just put everything into account here. Bam, there you go. I see gold heading much higher and possibly creating a double top over here, even, even heading higher into the 2000 area, creating a whole new top. Many people expect gold to break down much, much lower. And their ego was fed much more when this drop happened here. After gold had the strongest and most aggressive gain, the second biggest gain in history this year, starting 1st of January, which is right there, which is right here. This is January. There you go. Okay. And this is the strongest one month gain it had ever. Uh, sorry, for um, the second strongest gain in history it, had, it ever had. And now this is all coming down. Okay. We are not far away from the open of January, which is right there. And that indicates that if price comes down here, well, people will say gold's going to go even lower. A uh, possible re-entry, you know, A, B, C, and then D. Um, but I can tell you, I can tell you a very simple idea that I think gold is actually on an uptrend. That cycle has changed, and that this here is an uptrend and a better correction of this uptrend. Okay. So if you look at it a long, a very long picture of gold, I can tell you long term, Belinda. It's going up, 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 long term. I wouldn't touch it short term, but I can tell you in medium to long term. So let's say January again, it's going to have a very aggressive, very aggressive movement. So I can tell you that the next four, to, I think six months, in the next six months, in the next six months, we're going to have very strong gains. Comfort says you can't hear me. Can everybody else hear me? Okay. Comfort, can you hear me? Very good. So, Belinda, like I said, gold will be heading higher. Obviously, in the short term, it's probably going to go a bit lower because stabilization is happening in the markets. Uh, bond yields are heading higher and so forth. But they're coming to a very nice level where they're going to start going lower. And I'm going to show you this tonight in the course. When bond yields go down, so does the economy. When copper goes down, so does the economy. So, I'm, this, this is the kind of things we're going to be teaching. So I'm going to go into Kai for GBP, JPY, and then we're going to go into a very nice scalp here for Robert and to welcome him to our sessions. Uh, GBP, JPY, here we go. Well, uh, in general, like I said, the GBP will be gaining strength in general across the board. So GBP, USD, Euro GBP, uh, USD, JPY, uh, J GBP, JPY, and so forth. The GBP will be, will be gaining strength. Now, is that just another selling opportunity once it comes to a certain level? For example, the 155 level, which is probably going to. Um, then you can have pretty good indication that price will head lower. 
but I want to show you that the last time it gained, it had a gain like this. So the last time you've seen a, a big gain like this in a month, forget about the drops. The drops are due to Brexit. Okay, but you see this candle? It's not. It's much bigger than this one. This one. This one. This one. It's much bigger than most of the candles. Even this one here, or even this one here with the new uptrend. Only this candle here can compare to it, and the previous candles, of course, here. But it's been a while for GBP, JPY to have such a strong move up. Now, this could be, of course, the Bank of Japan interfering into the markets, which it is. Uh, it, needs a, it needs a weaker JPY in order to bring up inflation. Just like the GDP weakened, uh, the inflation in the UK rapidly rose once the GDP fell. And that's exactly what the US will do. So mark my words, they need higher inflation, and for them to get higher inflation, they need a weak currency. Basic economics. Weak currency, high inflation. That's exactly what the US will do. Please. Just Google UK inflation and watch it soar after the, not the Brexit, forget about Brexit, it didn't even happen, it was just a vote. And by the way, today is a very important day for this because the court, the court hearings actually begin uh, for the government and, 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 and uh, I think the, basically it's uh, that big vote that they had that caused the GDP to head a bit higher, if you all remember, I think about two weeks ago, well, the hearing starts today. So, which this could actually stabilize gold a little bit. Uh, it will stabilize the pound. So I see the GBP, JPY, Kai in the medium to short term heading higher to this area here. I can't provide you short term right now, but I can tell you it's going to go higher and the court session will definitely be the reason for this. The court session will probably end sometime next week and it will provide weakness to the GDP maybe, but right now it's going to provide strength. So I can tell you that this level, but actually right now we are, sorry, we are at, at a very crucial area, which is obviously the 37.5 level. And if you look at this level before, price has rebounded in these areas. And if we go all the way back, you can see it work here. You can see it. Okay, this is a nice rounding, rounding bottom. But the 37%, 37.5 area has worked well in the past. It usually gets broken. So if anything, we, we would want to go down to a weekly chart and just see what's going on on the weekly. You can see very strong gains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks of gains for the GBP. If you count this a little doji over here, a green doji, it indicates even stronger movements higher. What you can see is a small correction down to the 50% area of these two, which should be right about here. So that's worst case scenario, but as you see, the week started off strong and it's going to continue gaining. If we go down to the daily, we see even more gains with some very small, very small corrections and they happen at the 50% area. And if you don't believe me that this is the 50% area, let's do it. There you go. Right there. I could do it with my eyes. See, 50% of the two major levels, 25 and 35. We're going to this level now, so you could even you could even add on to a position if you have one. But price is coming here. Possible break maybe till about here, which is the 25% level of these two. So if I put the 50% here, you will see that this is the 25% area, roughly. So that's where price is probably going in the short before bouncing back down possibly to this 50% area or this 37.5 and then heading much much higher which would be the 50% area which is right there 56 and then maybe even higher I hope I answered your question I've even opened the trade to um, support this decision now let's go to Robert you're very welcome guy. Let's go to Robert, and Robert wants to go into a very short time frame for Euro JPY. And I'm going to open a whole new chart for this. And it's going to take me just a couple of minutes to do this, but let's put this and let's remove everything. And let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to add the mathematical points of interest, the MPIs, very quickly. Bum, bum. 
like I said, the trade on the euro is a very long term trade. We're waiting basically it's at least a month, monthly trade. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect these bad boys. Robert, you're going to have a trade in the next three minutes. Uh, yes, there is a very big difference between the FIBs and the, and the MPIs. Uh, the, I'm using the Fibonacci tool to put this, but the whole the whole numerology of everything is totally different. As you see, this is the 12.5% levels, and they're added on. So there is a very big difference because they tell you two different things. Fibonacci is very good, and I use it, but um, but I don't. Uh, what's it called? I uh, I don't use it as often. I use it on longer longer charts. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do some very quick. I'm not gonna do open be open more trades on scalping because we're gonna be scalping. Uh, we're gonna be scalping later on. Uh, and that's at 5 p.m. our time, which is, if I'm not mistaken, it should it should be at 3 p.m. Uh, GMT. It's, it's, this is going to be very short. If I open something here, there is, it's going to be very, very short. It's going to be to the downside, but it's too small. I mean, it's, I mean, I would have to take a bigger risk just to get, what, 10, 15 pips. Uh, our scalping, Robert, is very different here. We don't, we don't, I know you're looking at one hour, 15 minutes, five minutes on this one. And this is Euro JPY, right? Um, Uh, just a second. Let me just, yeah. Let me just, let me just look at this a little bit better. It is to the downside, so price will head down to the 121. But is it in, in, in enough risk? So what I have to do is do this. I have to put this thing on, and I have to put it at 12 pips, and we'll use a trailing stop, and I'll take it down. But uh, we even we're even late probably to enter into it. But. Um, because of such a rapid move, because of such a rapid move up, I see a sharp, sharp down move, um, and I believe that the euro will lose just a little bit of steam. Just the problem is how much, how much can we gain on it? I mean, there is only two scenarios of it going down. 
price coming to this area here. Okay, this is the 21 area, creating a beautiful little support before possibly heading higher. But don't forget there has been very strong movement on the upside. Very strong movement on the upside. And this is as you can clearly see here, and this is hundreds of pips. This is not this is not something small. As you see a beautiful consolidation here, then we move up. Uh, I don't think I can grab more than 10, 15 pips on this one here. What do you see, Robert? Why, or did you take a trade? Or do you have a trade open? Kato, you should be in profit on your USD card, right? If you were six pips. On the upside, right, Robert? You bought it. Oh, you're short. Okay, very good, very good. Well, I do, I do see, I do see the price, uh, price heading lower to this area here, which is obviously the 50% of this one here and this one here. So I'll just put in a target right there, and let's make it green. This area here would be our ideal target. That's our ideal target. This here. Um, very good. Okay, we see eye to eye. That's good. That's really good. So that would be the idea. We have a scalping um, uh, scalping session later on. It's called the Thunder Trading Room. Um, we're going to be opening at least six or seven positions on about six pairs at max. Uh, we will record it, so I'll get uh, someone to send you a recording, and then you can review the way we, we, we scalp. Um, last week on Thursday we did it, and we made about 10% with very small risks. But um, and like I said, I'll just record a new session today and just show you what we've done. It's good we see eye to eye on this one. We are both short. I will be moving my stop loss into profit. As you see, it's a trailing stop loss, so it's moving downwards. I will move it into profit um, as soon as we come to about 10 pips. I want to secure at least two. And I want to secure something on this one. But do, do expect a, a sharp move, something like this, but a bit stronger than this one. So it's that idea with the basketball. You know, you chuck it at the floor or chuck it in the ceiling. The harder you chuck it, uh, the stronger it bounces back. Now here is a here is a reversal area right here, the 125% level. So watch out for a small bounce back before another move down. Um, like I said, this area here. Does anybody have any other questions? Maybe some other analysis we can do. I've got another 10 minutes and then I'm gonna go. Robert, by the way, we have a nice chat room where, where everyone from this session and a few other people are in. Uh, and we speak about pairs there. So if you like to be added, it's obviously free. You can be, you can be added to this chat room and you can see some information. That we sp Basically, you'll be up to date with trades, market moves, and some pretty interesting news. OK, great. So no other questions from anyone. I'm going to go go over USD CAD real quick and Euro USD B. Uh, like I said, this here is a very long-term trade, okay? It's a long-term trade. We're looking at least a few weeks to be in the market. We want to conservatively compound this. This is 0 0.12. Our second position will come just after, just after the bounce at the 108 area. So when price comes here, there'll be a small bounce. As soon as the bounce happens, we're going to add on, and we're going to add on 50%, which means 0 0.06. Our second trade will be at the 75% level, and that will be the 10. But then we're going to open... 25% uh, less of the first position, which will be 0 0.9. If I can add on six to seven positions onto this trade, I'm going to be making at least two free k. And you guys seen seen this happen before. Well, not everyone, but some people have seen this happen. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be cutting this session short. Um, well, not short. It's been about 40 minutes, and it's just perfect. I don't think that we should. That we should uh, go over other things. 
right now. I don't see uh, there is a lot happening in the market, but I just you know I don't want to bore people. So, um, like I said, my name is Dennis. Um, I really thank you for coming to the session. And we went over the markets a little bit. We went over some trading rules. I'm not going to go over them all the time. But uh, I will be posting them on our website. So a new section will be put out for our trading systems and the way we trade. And that's this. Very simple. Very effective. Takes a bit of time to understand, but it's very simple. Um, so yeah, guys, that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's going to be a really busy day. So we have quite a few events actually starting from this Monday. In fact, with everything, if you put everything to, into account, we will be live at least 67 times this, um, just this month. If you put last week into account, it's going to be over 80 times. So as you can see, we're very active. I, I'm going to be putting the, the scalping room, so basically the thunder room. I'm going to be creating a few new sessions for mornings. So let's say pre-UK open, uh, so we're going to have it twice a day. So I'm looking, January is going to be really busy, at least 110 times live. At least 110 times live. So as you can see, I'm going to be making a lot of events for all of you to attend at all different times. We've got Americans here, we've got Singaporeans, we've got Norwegians, Australians, New Zealand people. I mean, there is the whole world, and I just want to help out as many people as we can. So there's a lot of information coming your way. We're going to be very active, and I really, really look forward to this December, and more specifically, the causes, the effects that are going to be coming out of all of those causes from the QE programs, those bond bubbles, student loans, and all of those uh, big, big, big bonds that are going to start blowing up. So guys, thank you for coming. Um, it's been really good. Robert, welcome to our room. And guys, thank you for watching. Uh, take care. I wish you a beautiful week. Makes the most of it and sees today. Like I said, my name is Dennis and I thank you very much for watching. Bye now. Welcome to